Hello, I'm Brian Nielsen, owner and horologist for Pocketful of Time. Today we're going to talk about antique clocks with an antique alarm. Do you have one of these? A number of you have asked me, what's that little dial in the center of the face and what does it do? Well, we're going to learn about it today. It is actually an antique alarm, making this clock an actual functioning alarm clock. Let's take a closer look, shall we? This is a Waterbury parlor clock, and it, uh, it is from the early 1900s, right around 1900 to 1903, 1905, somewhere in that area. This clock was a dual function clock. It not only told the time, but it would also alarm off. It actually works like an alarm clock, and you, but you set it a little different. It, it's, it's a very, very first version, primitive type of alarm clock. Let me show you what I'm talking about. First, let's review here for a second. Do you recognize this? We, when you're my age, you woke up to this. Your parents definitely woke up to this. This is a Baby Band West clock. Alarm clock. It's uh, from around uh, the 1960s, maybe the, the late 50s, early 60s. Now, as you can see, uh, you have three hands on the clock. You have what's telling you the time, and then you have a small hand in the back, and that is what you set the alarm for. Now, for you, for you that don't remember or have never used one of these, let me explain what, how, how this one works so that you can better understand how to set this one. Now I'm going to try to make it to where the, the light doesn't give us too much of a problem. Now you see that the clock is reading about 2.36, 2.37. Now at the 12 o'clock position it's a little pointer. Now that pointer is where you set the alarm. Now you notice that you have you know, your quarter hour marks between your time. Each one of those is worth 15 minutes. So if you wanted to set this alarm clock for like 4.15, you would set the, this hand to uh, coincide with this mark, one, the first mark after the 4, because this is for 4 o'clock, 4.15, 4.30, 4.45, 5.00. And that's how you set it. The back of the clock, you have your uh, time set, wind up, uh, the alarm set, and turn the alarm on and off, and you have a quiet and a, and a loud setting. So we're going to use this setting here, and we're going to set it for around, for the alarm to go off at about 4.15. So we put that hand right on the 4.15, and then we turn on the alarm and everything works off of one mainspring. On older alarm clocks there's two springs but this one only has one so when the time comes around to there's three o'clock, three thirty, four and when it gets pretty close to four fifteen it's going to go off. There you go. And now we have the Waterbury Parlor Clock. This is one of their top-of-the-line parlor clocks. It has a precision adjustable pendulum and the alarm. Now back in 1903, if you wanted this clock with the alarm option, it costed a gigantic 55 cents more. And what, what it basically is, is you have the clock, the clock movement for both time and strike and then you have down here where you wind up your alarm. Now if you've never set the alarm you try to wind this up I tell you what we're going to get the pendulum out of the way just for this demonstration. Now when you try to wind this up without resetting anything it will go off. 
you actually, the difference between this and a modern alarm clock is you have to set it before you wind it up because it's always going to go back to its alarm actuation. So, let's talk about how to set it. Now, <clears throat> first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set the clock to where you can see everything that I'm doing. Set it about 3.15. Alright, now, here you see the brass wheel. This is going to be our measurement of time. You see that it has Roman numerals on it. This is where it gets a little bit tricky. We're at 3.15. Alright, we let's say we want the alarm to go off in two hours. Okay, that will be about 5.15. So, we are going we're going to set this alarm dial for two hours thus striking off at 515 you don't have the third hand like the modern alarm clock had you have to actually decide how long from now you want the alarm to go off and then set the, t the wheel to coincide with that time so we want two we want two hours from now. So we will turn the brass ring until the number two lines up. There's the Roman numeral two and it's lining up with the twelve. So that's when the clock is going to go off. Alright, let's see how well we've done here. But first, we have to <laughs> we have to wind up the uh, the alarm mechanism. After we've set it, we can now wind up the alarm mechanism. Let's do that now. Okay. The alarm mechanism is now wound up. It's set for two hours from now, and in two hours it's going to start clapping that bell, and it will, trust me, it will alarm off. Let's see what we've done here now. There's one hour. Hour and a half. Okay, now, these really aren't, you know, quartz accurate, so the alarm will go off somewhere around the 15 minute mark. So let's see how close we got. Pull back a little bit. Like I said, that thing is an alarm. You can't shut it off either. You've got to wait for it to wind down. Voila. There's how your alarm works on your antique clock with alarm. Well, I hope this has been helpful for you. And enjoy your antique clock with your antique alarm.